Hi, in this video we are going to see how you multiply a three-digit number by a one-digit number using standard multiplication. So our three-digit number is 212 and our one-digit number is 4. You always start by multiplying the ones place first. So 4 times 2 is 8 and I will write that in the ones column. Now I'll multiply 4 times 1. 4 times 1 is 4 and I'll write that in the tens column. Now I'll do 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8 again. And that 8 all goes in the hundreds column underneath the 2. So my answer is 848. Notice that when I'm multiplying the 1, it's actually 10. And this 4 is actually 40. But that's all taken care of because it's in the tens column. Just like the 2 is really 200 and this 8 is really 800. But that's all taken care of for me because it's in the hundreds column. So I don't have to worry too much about the place value because the columns take care of the place value for me. Let's try another example. Again, we begin in the ones column. 2 times 9 is 18. But 18 does not fit in this, in this column so I have to split it up. The 8 stays down below and the 1 comes up into the next column, into the tens column. So now I do 2 times 4 which is 8 but I can't forget the 1 that I carried. I have to add that on so that now I have 9 and that goes in the tens column underneath the 4. Now I'll do 2 times 3 which is 6 and that lines up underneath the 3 in the hundreds column and my answer is 698. Let's try one more example. This time I'll do 683 times 7. Beginning in the ones column 7 times 3 is 21 but that's too big so I have to split it up. I'll put the 1 down below and carry the 2 into the next column. 7 times 8 is 56 but I can't forget this 2. When I add that on, I get 58. And I have to split that up as well. So I'll put the 8 down below and carry the 5. Now do you see the 58 that was split up? Now I'll do 7 times 6, which is 42, plus 5 is 47. And I'll write that out in front and put my comma in. And I can see that my answer is 4,781. So I hope you use uh, grid paper when you try to do your own examples. I suggest you get a piece sheet of grid paper and pick some three digit numbers and one digit numbers and try using this method to multiply. Good luck!